Welcome to Lookouts and Waterfalls in the Blue Mountains, Episode 5, Let Our Videos Be Your Guide. In this episode, we visit Adam's Lookout, Terrace Falls and Victor Falls. Our first stop in this episode is Adam's Lookout on the south side of Hazelwood. We have followed the M4 motorway from Sydney onto the Great Western Highway and will turn off into Park Road, 28 kilometres from the bridge over the Nepean River. If your vehicle has a trip meter, set it to zero as you exit into Park Road. Once in Park Road, turn right immediately after you cross the rail bridge into Railway Parade. At 1.1 km, turn left into Valley Road. These are the roads we took to get to the start of the walking track. At 1.9 kilometres, turn right into the lake road. At 2.2 kilometres, the road turns into a dirt track. At 2.5 kilometers, stop at the locked gate. We have walked a part of the track due to the fact that we had to stop at a gate and we could not drive to this position. We'll show you what we've walked so far. A little bit unexpected, a gate there, but uh, hopefully it's not too far to walk. Well, the track seems amiable, so we'll see how enjoyable the, the, the walk is. Car Park 3. Well, that's a misnomer these days, isn't it? Where's Car Park 1? Here. Oh, this is the, round, the roundabouty thing. Huh. So we, we weren't that far off. This, this is a circle of track that comes around. Okay. Well, let's go down this one. A lot of loose rock, so you take one step and you slip back too. We'll now proceed the rest of the way to Adam's Lookout. Do we have anything you can tell us about this area, Graham? 
I do. Adams Lookout is within Terrace Falls Reserve and was named and opened in 1938. It was named in recognition of Mr. Frederick Thomas Adams' 30 years service as a trustee and also of the fact that Mr. Adams and his family were among the oldest residents and pioneers of Hazelbrook. In the late 1800s, Mr. Adams was a railway fettler and gatekeeper at Hazelbrook Station. His wife Margaret was the postmistress. The lookout was previously known as Bedford Lookout or Bedford Creek Lookout. The panorama there provides 200 degree views of King's Tableland, Wentworth Falls, Hazelbrook and Lawson. It therefore seems only right and fitting that the name of the family should be perpetuated by being attached to a local landmark. Mr Adams died in 1940 at the age of 75. Well, what do you think of this lookout, Jeff? Not much. No, it's pretty basic, isn't it? They have spent no money on it. I guess they don't really appreciate the uh, importance of of this panorama that is shown here. We are walking from Adams Lookout back 270 metres to the four-way intersection we crossed earlier and we'll turn left. Then we'll turn left onto Terrace Falls Road and we'll stop at the start of the Falls track. If you're travelling from Sydney directly to Terrace Falls, the driving directions will be at the end of this video. Here is a map of the roads you can take to get there. Oh, look at this. It's been cemented. Someone's actually driven down here at some stage. So this is Terrace Road, this is what you planned on driving. One of the roads we were to follow if we couldn't go another way. But as we've found out, none of the ways are accessible to here because there's gates on every road. How do the fireys get down here if there's a fire? Well, they have a key. There's a sign ahead. The sign may say Victor Falls this way, which means we're north of both the falls. If it says Terrace Falls, we're in between the two. Yes. It will all become abundantly clear. Okay, so we're, we're north of them both. So which road do we take? This one? The lower one or the higher one? We take the lower one. The higher one, sorry. The higher one, because that one here goes nowhere. I see a sign. Yep, 
Yeah, we've missed Victor Falls. Well, I couldn't see any... There was no sign. No. We've got to go back that way anyway, don't we? Yeah. Well, it looks like we've got to go down here. We are walking to Terrace Falls from the southern end of the track. The other end of this track, to the north, is a longer walk, but most people will go that way. You can see a fair amount of work was done a long time ago on chipping these stones away to make a path and embedding other ones. See, people walk around the steps, thus eroding away the dirt. That fall down the hill, Graham. Nothing worse than careering to the bottom of the hill like a tumbleweed. Look at the stupid sign, it's fallen over. Can you straighten that up? Yep. I have to hold it though. Okay, so we're at the side track, off the side track. And so we shall go down even further into the gloom. We have to go down to creek level by wending our weary way down. Oh, I see water. Another sign. Now there's two ways to go. We can go that way, or we can go this way. This way takes us to the bottom of the falls. I believe that Terrace and Victor Falls, our last stop today, were once collectively known as the Woodford Falls. Do we know anything else about this fall, Graham? Yes, in 1903, the Hazelbrook and Woodford Progress Committee gave the falls the collective name of Woodford Falls. In the Government Gazette, 1897, the area was called the Terraces. Before that, it has been known as Hazelbrook Recreation Reserve and Smith Creek Reserve. Current signage, however, reads Terrace Falls Park. As to why this falls is called Terrace Falls, it was named for a series of eight cascades that plunge into a sandy pool at the base of the lowest floor. Now what did they have here? Look at this. Yeah. They've cemented something in. Yeah. And there too. There used to be a bridge here. There you go, look. Two there, two here, and two there. There used to be a bridge across here. And they let it wash away and, and then didn't have the thought to put it back. This is a photograph of the falls taken by David Noble. Our last stop today is Victor Falls, and that is further up this track. This is interesting. Looks like we may have to cross the creek. I hope not. I don't think this is Victor Falls. No, it's too small. Oh, there's the path here. You're going to have to cross anyway because the path goes up here. 
Alright. If you choose to drive to Victor Falls first, here is a map of the streets you take to get to the start of the track on Terrace Falls Road. Can you tell us anything about these falls, Geoffrey? Sure can. Victor Falls is on Terrace Falls Creek, as is Terrace Falls. It was named after the son of a local resident who went to fight in World War I. His name was Victor Frederick Cecil Levitt, who was born in 1893. He enlisted in 1915 and while he was overseas the falls were officially named and the track opened on the 25th of April 1916. Victor returned from the war and lived on until 1967. He died at the age of 74. We've come up from Terrace Falls and now we're going to take the side pass to Victor Falls. Victor Falls. This is quite a high and wide fall. It must look spectacular after a lot of rain. This is a photograph of the falls taken by David Noble. We've now left Victor Falls, we're heading north, back to the main track on a path we didn't follow before. Now we have to cross back over the creek on more stepping stones. Looks more like a drain than a creek. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way this amount of water was flowing over those two falls. So we're coming along here and we've come to this road that we saw turned off earlier. It obviously crosses the creek here and then goes up the hill there. And if you were coming this way, you would see a small sign up in the bushes. As you have seen, we saw no sign to Victor Falls and missed the side track that was marked on the park map. The way we returned led us along a path the map did not show. Here we show a copy of the map with the additional easy to find and walk track. And finally, this is the path we took to visit both falls. Today we visited three places, Adams Lookout, Terrace Falls and Victor Falls. We don't expect you to do that all in one day. Take your time and fully enjoy the outdoors, the fresh air, the sunshine, the wonderful vistas. But most of all, stay safe by familiarizing yourself with our safety instructions at the end of this video. In our next episode, we'll document four waterfalls. Until then, bye. Bye for now. Ah, look, our wheels. They're still attached to the body. Well, the front two are. I don't know about the back two. Oh, I've lost my keys. They must have dropped out at Terrace Falls. You'll have to go back. 
There's a chariot that awaits us patiently at the gate. Whatever way you discover the Blue Mountains, we want you to have a safe and enjoyable experience. Whether you drive, catch public transport, or cycle to the destinations we visit here, some walking is necessary. The walks are usually short, but can contrast greatly, so you need to be aware of the risks. Have a safe and enjoyable sightseeing experience at these lookouts and waterfalls. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be alerted when next we visit the Blue Mountains.